DNI runs through everything we do as a firm. So it runs through our recruitment to the type of advice that we give and how we offer our advice. We obviously do a lot of international cross-border work, so it comes into to that too. We don't recruit to a type at Slaughter and May. It's very important to us that we have a variety of opinions and perspectives, um, and that's partly because we like to be creative in, in our work. And also, obviously, having a more diverse and inclusive environment is more interesting for the people that work here, and we want to have an environment where everyone can flourish. And so DNI and is a big, important issue for us as a firm, and we're concentrating our efforts on it. We've always been a big supporter of the arts at Slaughter and Main. The Old Vic's obviously a very iconic venue, and it's coming up to its 200-year anniversary um, this year. But actually, it was Sylvia itself that really appealed to us. Sylvia is about Sylvia Pankhurst, who is the second daughter of Emmeline Pankhurst, who famously led the suffragettes movement. And Sylvia herself was very instrumental in bringing about the, the partial right to vote for women 100 years ago. Mm, and it was great, wasn't it, doing something that wasn't typically Slaughter and May, which was, was also nice. Really, the relationship is just starting. So for me, the highlight so far has obviously been the client event that we had at Sylvia. We had a great turnout and a great level of interest from our clients. We were really pleased. And Sylvia itself was just such a spectacular performance. I think it blew everyone away. The old Vic has been fascinating, actually. It started right from getting members of staff to go and see the uh, rehearsal, so to see the very much the development of the production of Sylvia. And then going forward, we've set up a cross-sector mentoring scheme with the Old Vic, which will involve women from here and the Old Vic mentoring uh, younger women in both organisations. And it's been really nice to see how it's not just been the women in the firm that have got involved, it's also the men too, which is incredibly important to us and it's something that we've been trying to encourage and, and foster. Um, and that's partly the reason that we've done the panel event this evening on collaborating with men, which looks into the research by Jill Armstrong and really the theory about how we can all work together as one body of people rather than separating the sexes out to, to have a more inclusive and diverse culture. I think what this firm is about at its heart is diversity of thinking. That is the absolute core ingredient that we believe makes for the very best lawyers and the very best advice. And if we are not thinking about diversity in terms of the pipeline that we have, um, attracting people, recruiting them and then retaining them, then we are just not gonna have that diversity of thought that A, is important for us you know, as an organization to make sure that we're at our creative best, but B, is so vital for our clients and what they value in us. I have 27 organisations participating in our survey and workshop programme and we have um, been overwhelmed by the interest from law firms in particular and I think law firms are taking this issue incredibly seriously. I think it's something to do with their relationships with their clients but it's also to do with the fact that there are a bunch of very bright people who are thinking about these social issues and how they apply to the firm. I think our partnership with the Old Vic is incredibly important and pretty different for Slaughter and May. I don't think if you'd ask anyone, oh, is Slaughter and May partnering up with a hip-hop <laughs> uh, production, I don't think anybody would say yes, but here we are. I reached out to Slaughter and May because I saw that there was a real genuine commitment to diversity and inclusion within the organisation and I approached with the opportunity to support our production of Sylvia and it has been a completely collaborative, holistic um, and energising partnership from the very beginning and I hope that there's a long future ahead. Well, there's more things to come on this partnership from the Old Vic and I can't give too much away, uh, but we're hoping in the new year to have a workshop on developing inclusive leadership skills uh, with the Old Vic. And there's so many other things we can do. Both the Old Vic and Slaughter and May are so keen to develop young people. And I think we, I'm very excited to think of the other things that we'll be able to be doing with the Old Vic in the future.